did you have a perfect marriage? Sarah is married. Check. Sarah is a lawyer. Check. Okay, that's where the similarities stop. Keep watching to find out what book we're talking about today. Hey y'all, it's Kyla Denanyo. So today we're talking about the book, The Perfect Marriage. This book is written by Geneva Rose. The genre of the book is fiction. The theme of the book is suspense thriller, okay? So this book was right up my alley. Let's get into my all-time favorite plot twist in the book. You have Sarah, who's a criminal defense lawyer. You have her husband, and her husband is actually cheating on her. So not only does he have to confess that he's cheating, but his mistress ends up going away, and so everybody's like, oh, she just broke up with you, leave her alone, oh, it's fine. And then the ending, oh, Geneva. So the reason why that plot twist is so compelling is because we get to see the characters a number of years after the crime happens. And so you're coming back, you're getting an update, and you're like, okay, you know, is Sarah gonna get married to someone? What's gonna happen? Hey, what's happening with life? Well, Geneva Rose writes this entire tale with you hanging on the edge of your seat, like, man, Sarah really loves her husband. Look at how she's defending Adam. Oh, this is so great. Maybe a conflict of interest. And then at the end, Sarah's like, you know what? I want a divorce, I'm over it. And so when you find out why she wants to divorce, it really, I mean, I was like, okay, I need to reread the entire book again because did I miss clues? A lot of times I like to be able to anticipate what's happening because I'm a scaredy cat and I don't want to be absolutely terrified. I couldn't anticipate what was going to happen in this book. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like because that really does help YouTube share these videos with more people so that more people can embrace book reviews and embrace book recommendations and read some more of Geneva Rose, <laughs> okay? So I will see you next time on Kyla's Reading Day. Bye.